empower you to take uh, this environmental action into your own hands and do something to help keep this island looking beautiful. So I think we define trash like basically just like as like human like human waste that we just go into a bag or something and we just throw it somewhere. So yes, this is an octopus or a squid trap. Um, we can start with the little things as well, right? So how many people have a reusable water bottle? All right, so something as simple as that helps to reduce the amount of plastic bottles that end up in the trash and could potentially end up in the ocean. And I want you to guess how many years do you think this has been Two. lying in the ground? So we found this. How old do you think this Two. face cream is? What? I want to say about like 10 or 10 years. A decade. 10 or 3 years, a decade. 5. 5. So this is around 70 years old. Plastic takes a very long time to break down. This is why we want to make sure we're doing what we can to not use these kind of products as often. So if we can find a substitute or something else to use. Let's not think of the barrier, think of the opportunity. Because believe it or not, you may say, my grandparents, my mom, everybody doesn't want to do it, but if they start to see it, they may consider, even if it's one time saying, oh, well, the bag is right there. Let me just put it in the bag. I don't have to look for it. You know, it's already there. It's so, so remarkable. <laughs> The least common was paper. Paper, okay. Lunchable. Lunchable, like the, like the plastic. Thank you, Ms. Metellus, for your presentation and for coming to our school to show us what you guys do. Thank you so much. Keep for me to create. Thank you, man.